Our big story right now at 10 o'clock, businesses and homeowners are remembering an EF1 tornado that swept through Mobile one year ago today. The National Weather Service officials confirmed the twister touched down in the early morning hours with wind speeds up to 109 miles per hour. Luckily, no one was seriously hurt, but the tornado caused major damage from Dolphin Street all the way up through the Crichton area. Local 15's Christian Jennings joins us live from Midtown tonight. Christian, a salon owner you talked to hopes others learn from what she went through. That's right, Kim. The owner here at Healthy Beginnings, the salon behind me on Sage Avenue, says that last year's tornado did $22,000 worth of damage, and insurance didn't cover any of it because she says she didn't have wind coverage. So she hopes that her story serves as a reminder to others to check their policies. This was Sonia Roberts one year ago, showing Local 15's Darwin Singleton what was left of her salon after December 20th's early morning tornado. That's our waiting area. This was drawers where I keep all my stuff. <laughs> Today, she's a bit happier, enjoying a newly renovated Healthy Beginnings salon and showing customers the same love and care she's been dishing out for 13 years at this location on Sage Avenue. I just felt good just knowing that we would come to work this morning with no mishaps, no bad weather. After the tornado ripped through Mobile from Dolphin Street to Crichton, Roberts kept her business going in a small back section of the salon for five months. Finally, she was able to get this front section back open, but only with the help of her loyal customers. We had somebody come hang sheetrock, we had somebody to paint, we had somebody to, my husband did the floor. And, um, just, you know, people just helping out like that. Down on Dolphin Street at the Mercedes Benz dealership, nearly every storm window was blown out from the powerful straight line winds, and destruction was all over the lot. We had 44 vehicles that were completely totaled, one flipped upside down. We had a big pylon sign that fell over on vehicles. But today, General Sales Manager Jim Sullivan says business is better than ever. We're very blessed that more damage wasn't done. But not everyone was as lucky. You can see this home on Sage Avenue still has a tarp draped over the side of it, and the home next door had to be leveled. Now, Sonia Roberts, the owner of this salon behind me, even went so far today as to call the tornado a blessing because she got a renovation out of it. And she said it really opened her eyes to how loving and compassionate her customers really are. Reporting live in Midtown, Christian Jennings, Local 15 News. Christian, thank you. Christmas Day of last year, an EF2 tornado damaged parts of Mobile, including Midtown and Historic Murphy High School. A surveillance video from Walgreens shows the brute force of that storm. Fortunately, no one was killed. The National Weather Service says 14 tornadoes struck Alabama Christmas Day.